A portion of this video is sponsored by Neutrogena Hydro Boost. Hi my beauties! Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a very exciting one because I'm going to be showing you guys my full rundown of my gym routine. If you guys have been wondering what I do before I head out to the gym, how I prep myself, what I do actually at the gym, and then what I do afterwards, then this video is for you guys. Not just my 30 to 1 hour workout, there's a lot more that goes into it. So hopefully you guys find this video very helpful. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing you guys that I do is I focus on my skin. So my skincare, you guys. It's so important because when you're working out, your pores tend to open up and it's prone to, you know, letting more bacteria come into your pores. You can easily break out and we just need to hydrate it, okay? So even though I did my last night's you know skincare routine and all but honey we don't change the sheets every single day okay so that means you know we can we could build up a little bacteria in there and anyways i'm already like gross so i need to wash off last night's skincare and redo a new skincare and i do a specific one for the gym which i actually want to give a huge shout out to my neutrogena family because they are sponsoring today's portion of the video and i have been using this moisturizer you guys for the longest time like it is such a great lightweight moisturizer that's just going to really hydrate your skin make it super glowy and all and like just give it the great benefits that i that we need when it comes to working out so first let me wash my face and i'm actually going to be using also neutrogena's hydro boost cleanse hydrating cleansing gel this stuff works amazing i do like two pumps and also this is going to help with hydrating your skin I'm just going to rinse off this. Alright, once I already washed my face, I'm going to dry it off. One of these disposable paper towels. Just pat dry my face. Because I'm going to just go to the gym, work out, and then afterwards shower, I don't do a bunch of skincare steps. I literally will just take this, an eye cream, maybe a lip balm, and call it a day. But this is Neutrogena's Hydro Boost Gel Cream, you guys. And it is going to give you the ultimate moisture to your skin, leaving it super moisturized. It absorbs really quickly. It's kind of like a gel-like type of consistency, but it's going to really like hydrate it like a really nice, like thick moisturizer. It's very interesting, honestly. I just take a little bit, just like this, on the palm of my hands. And as soon as you apply it, you guys are going to see this glow. Look, okay, ready? Like you already see it on my forehead, but look at this. Are you kidding? Hitting me like look at this glow you guys oh i love it just the way it feels on the skin oh my god i just absolutely love it it also has great ingredients like hyaluronic acid and glycerin so you best believe it is doing its magic to really hydrate your skin and it hydrates it for 48 hours you guys which is crazy just saying it's a lot of pluses to this moisturizer it is so lightweight so it doesn't feel heavy it's just the best gym moisturizer that i can ever recommend i'm always using it you guys if anything that you want to buy from neutrogena get this like it's so freaking good you guys and i absolutely love it but anyways let me go ahead and just finish off my rest of my skincare i'm just gonna apply a little light cream for my under eyes and I'm just going to hydrate my lips. So literally all I do for my skincare, you guys. So it is nice and glowy and moisturized and clean. Look at this glow, you guys. Are you serious? Like, oh. I'm telling you, it is the best. So like I said, if you guys want to get your hands on it, run to your nearest store. Like literally run. Don't walk. Run. And purchase it. You're not going to regret it. You're going to absolutely love it. And if you guys have already tried it, let the girls know in the comments, you know? Um, but yeah, so definitely recommend 100%. So it's chef's kiss, you know? So anyways, again, huge shout out to my Neutrogena family for sponsoring today's portion of the video. Let's go ahead and move on to the next step now. The next step is choosing my workout outfit. So I just pretty much just go in here, try and pick out something that I would absolutely love. Okay, I'm going to wear my favorites sports top so i went with this sports top and these leggings and i'm just gonna put them on boom so now i have my workout set and i honestly have like two different moods you guys sometimes i want to be as bad as like strong woman you know so i will go with all black fierce colors you know and then sometimes i want to be like super inspired girly and like cute and then i'll do my light colors so it just depends on my mood and today we're feeling this okay i'm gonna choose my sneakers which i believe i left them upstairs 
Yes, I did leave them upstairs. So for my sneakers, it really depends on like what type of workout I'm going to be doing. So if I'm going to be doing like lower body, I focus on having shoes that have like a flat sole. And if I'm doing upper body slash cardio, I really don't care as long as they're like just comfortable and they go with my outfit. Here we go. Okay, sneakers are on. Last thing that we need to do is just deodorant and my hair. I'm just going to add my real quick and that's it because i literally work out from the gym if i was going to a natural like gym where other people would go maybe i would do like a light body spray but this is a this is good enough okay last thing that i do oh lord this is lion's hair look at this <laughs> last thing that i'm gonna do is just focus on my hair i just washed it last night so that's why it looks like this but if I hadn't washed it, it would already be most likely in a bun. Unless, of course, I need to like go out somewhere to an event. But if I don't have anything going on for the week, literally my hair is in a bun Monday through Friday. So for the hair, because I do sweat and stuff, um, obviously I just washed it uh, last night. But if I hadn't washed it, then what I would do before is apply a little bit of um, dry shampoo. Run that through. Also hydrate my my, bo my bottom hair, my split ends and all that. I'll just take like a conditioning mist or something. Spray this to the ends of my hair. Just so you know, it's hydrated. We're taking care of it as well. And then I'm just going to part it down the middle. And from here, I just pick it up either in a bun with, you know, my hair tie or like my hair clips, whatever it is. But I just put it up because I do not want it in my face whatsoever. Okay, I'm gonna use this hair wax stick because I have a few little like baby hairs. If you're like sweating and then the baby hairs start coming down and getting annoying, use a hair stick like this one, a hair wax stick. Trust me, life changing. These in the back. I got a little baby hairs. Let me just show you that. Guys, okay, so my hair, skin, outfit, all ready to go. Now I'm gonna prep for what I need at the gym, so. Let's go to the kitchen. All right, so the next thing that I do is I fill up my water bottle. I have different types of bottles, you guys, you guys already know that, but depending on the one that I'm gonna use, I either refill it or just leave it at one, because one of them, some of them are already a gallon, which makes it super easy, because you don't have to be refilling it. But this one's half a gallon, and it just makes it a little bit easier to carry with me. All right, water is ready to go. The last thing I need is something to give me a little bit of energy. So depending on the day, I guess, if I've had a good night's sleep, then I won't need anything. If I'm feeling motivated, I'll just go straight like this right now to the gym and just get my workout in. But if I need a little bit of energy, the thing that I use as my pre-workout is just straight black coffee. Like straight black coffee, that's what I do, and that's it. So that's actually what I'm gonna do because, let me tell you, last night was a really rough night with my girl. And yeah, let's just say I didn't have the best night's sleep. So I'm gonna need my little coffee right now. Ho, 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 ho. Here it is, guys. Straight black coffee. That's like that's literally all my pre-workout. Also, the reason I drink it straight black is not only because it's obviously stronger, but also because I'm intermittent fasting. So if you guys know, I don't eat until it's at least noon. And right now it's literally 9 a.m. So black coffee it is. The very last thing that I do, I just grab my watch. I track my heart rate and as well uh, my steps and all that. So I just put this baby on. And that's pretty much it. But anyways, I am ready to go now. So now let's head over to the gym. I think it's, my gym is literally right out, right outside my home. And I have my gym partner, which is my husband. And we bring one of one or both our babies here with us. Um, they spend our, their time here at our gym. We have like the little setup we do for them. So that way they stay distracted while we work out. Sometimes Jaylene will work out with us. Um, she actually enjoys it. I put this little activity center here where I put my baby Kai and because this makes noises, she likes it. And now she's just gonna stay there. <laughs> First thing I start doing is I start stretching. It's so important for me before I start getting into my workout to stretch and do some dynamic or mobility exercises, I guess. And because I'm doing upper body today, I'm gonna focus more on my upper body stretching and then Mobility workouts from my shoulders and all. Oh, this feels so good. Cuenta conmigo, Kai. Cuatro. Cinco. Once I'm done with my stretching, I go into 
some mobility movements. All right, now that I just finished stretching my entire body, you know, doing a few mobility exercises, I'm good to go. My body is warm. And I can get into my workout now. Um, sometimes when it comes to lower day, I will do a few, yeah, I guess you could say like low impact exercises just to get blood flowing there. But when it comes to upper body, I really don't do that. I don't really care for like growing it so crazy so yeah i'm just gonna go straight into my workout now but if it was my lower body i'd be doing like lightweight banded workouts just to get blood pumping down to my lower body especially the booty area but uh since i'm doing my upper body we're just gonna get straight into it sometimes this is what i do in between sets about to fall off collapse but i just finished my workout towards the end i did supersets so i was combining a few that's what i do sometimes when i don't have a lot of time whenever i don't have time i start supersetting some of the exercises but thank you i finished it i pushed through i broke a pr today Yay for me so i just feel overall great right now i would normally start my cardio so I do about 30 minutes. I either get on my uh, treadmill or either my Stairmaster, do 30 minutes. But right now, I am already super hungry and I have a call to jump on later on. So whenever I don't have time, I just save my cardio for later. So right now, I'm gonna head back into my home, eat my breakfast, but I'm also gonna show you guys how I do my protein. Okay, so I'm back in the house. I'm about to show you guys what I do as my protein shake. I do three types of different powders. So the first one is going to be fiber because, you know, I need that extra fiber, girl. I'm gonna do one scoop of collagen just because, you know, I need, I need all the collagen right now because with this, with these two pregnancies, yeah. Last but not least, obviously the protein sometimes i'll have like protein coffee or something like that but this is all i do so it's all mixed together i'm just gonna add water i just add my water once i add my eight to ten ounces of water i close this up make sure it's locked last thing i'm gonna do is just add ice i added my eyes or started drinking it it's so good so good it tastes so good once it's chilled oh I love it. But yeah, play around with your protein, you guys. You don't have to do a, sh a protein shake. You could have it in food. You could even do a protein smoothie. As long as you're getting protein in, that's the key, okay? So this is always my number one thing after I work out. I do have something protein-wise. And throughout my day, of course, obviously, the more higher the protein, the better for my fat loss journey. But anyways, with that, you guys, that concludes my little gym routine. I'm finally done. Like I said, maybe I will put in the extra time to do my cardio and later on but if i don't i always go for a walk regardless i try to always do like 10k steps a day so that's my little cardio right there but yeah so if you guys enjoyed this video and would like to see more fitness related videos like these don't forget to give me a huge thumbs up but with that my loves thank you guys so much for watching me today i love you guys and i'll see you guys all in the next video bye